Okay, we're back. I just want to explain to you, I kind of drew everything on here that I wanted uh, for the eagle itself. Um, I, I cut this in first over here on both sides. And then the tail, I had it rounded and I did this off like it's so small I had to be able to see it up close closer than what I could see it on the camera. Um, but what I did was I drew these feathers on first. Okay, this one comes out first and then this big tail is usually on the back side, um, on the back of the bird. Uh, so this is the underside actually. So what I did was I, I drew where it was going to be and then I took my knife and I notched each where, where it would meet. Uh, I notched it out, okay, from both sides. This side and that side. Now I used a little rocking motion when I did that. Uh, it worked out a little bit better uh, to, to clean it up. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you. I have the feathering. You can take a look at how I did the feathering on here. I believe I'm going to cut all these out with a knife just to make it a little more interesting and, and to make it a little more realistic. The flag we're going to do last, uh, but we're just still working on the eagle. And what I'm going to do is, whichever, let me explain this, whichever feathers supposed to be on top is the one you cut out first. So we'll go with this one here. I'm just going to do a couple of them here. Well, why don't I just make the lines wherever they need to be here. I need to go to the other side and put that in. Put this one in and this one and that one. Okay, so we're going to cut up from this side over just like so. Okay, all you're doing is a simple, simple stop cut and you're just going to follow that line through and you're just going to cut it very carefully out and actually this one goes underneath so we'll go the other the opposite way Let's see if I can bring that any closer for you there you go alright and the same thing here there, just notch that out. See how that has a feathery look to it? Now we're going to notch this little corner out yet. Alright. Let me erase that. I'll be right back in a second. Sometimes erasing this is not easy. I usually cut it off with a knife. Okay. So that's our feather look. Okay. And then the same thing with the body. What you want to do, is, and you want to be really, really careful when you do this. You want to take the tip of your knife, all right, and you're going to just follow that. And you're going to do the ones that are on top first. So I'm just going to outline all these. And I'm just going to show you a couple how I'm going to do it, since I really need to look at it better and up close. I see I cut that one a little wrong, but it's okay. What you want to do is you want to go underneath and just cut it out. All right, just like so. All right, and the same thing here. You're going to cut that one out. Uh, let's see here. So that's how you're going to do each feather. You're going to pretty well do it individually. Like whatever feather, let me explain this. Whatever feather is on top first, like this one's on top first. Then you may want to go to this one. Then you want, may want to go to this one. You know, however it's layering, those are the ones you need to go to first. And the same thing over here. You you can do these first. You can also use a um, no a wood burner. And I'm going to wood burn all this in eventually. Anyway, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wood burn the bottom portion, and I'm going to leave this um, maybe the way it is with a little bit of feathering in it and the feathers down here. So this would stay white. This was, would be brown from the wood burning itself. And then this, and then I'm going to burn my name tag in with a wood burner. If you're lucky enough to have a wood burner, those are some of the advantages of having one. Let me just explain really quickly about wood burning. If you're buying a wood, burner, wood burning set, 
do not buy one from a hobby shop you know like the big chains make sure you buy a decent one it will last you a pretty well a lifetime I had mine for 20 years I've never had a problem with it I had to replace some of the handles on it but the unit still works just fine so don't spend more money than you have to um, well don't waste your money going to the other ones um, go and get your stuff and they'll run anywhere from 79 or 70 dollars up to 150 dollars you know, mine's a basic unit, it's about $100 for one. Okay, just to give you that little bit of a, of a assurance that when you buy those things, it is not, it, it is not wasted money at all. Okay? When you do this, you can do a half a turn, and then turn it this way and, and kind of meet your turn instead of doing it in one sweep. Okay? And then go back the tip of your knife and just cut it out okay so I'm gonna be busy working on this uh, for a little while tonight get this all nicely done I don't think I'm gonna sand anything um, again I'm gonna wood burn the eye in a little bit later but we did the feathering on the bottom and now I'm gonna finish up doing all the feathering and just to share with you the feathers are the long feathers are tucked behind him okay and then later on we're actually going to put little lines in here for the for the flag okay uh, to distinguish the flag uh, separate from the name tag itself so we'll be back and uh, when we come back I'm gonna have this all cut up and and carved Folks, take your time with it. There is no hurry with it. Take your time, and and if it if it doesn't come free the first time, like I have a little spot here that needs to be cleaned up, I will go back to it. But just do not pry it out because you'll end up chipping something out. Okay, so that's pretty well where we're at with it, and we'll be back for next segment very very shortly. <laughs> 